This is how these 14-year-old pupils say online bullying makes them feel. Who here has ever received nasty or hateful messages online? These Year 10 students say it's a growing problem. People think they can hide behind a screen and say what they want, or say what they feel, whereas um, in person it's a lot harder. It can bring down your self-esteem, like you don't want to go out into the public anymore you don't know what they can do, if they can find you or they might target you. It's more people feel peer pressure to post more things and if one friend is in an argument, they feel the need to join in, even though it's got nothing to do with them. Everyone gets bullied all the time. I think everyone has been bullied at least once in their life. Online bullying has increased by 88% in the last five years. And last year, more than 4,500 children received counselling for online bullying. Childline say this type of bullying now affects children as young as seven years old. Felix Alexander was 17 when he took his own life after being bullied online. His mum Lucy says parents need to understand the dangers of the internet. Parents don't know what their children are doing. They don't know what online platforms they're using. They're always two steps ahead of us. Keep talking to your children, listen to them, find out what they're doing, take an interest, get on Facebook, get on Twitter, get on Instagram and follow it, find out how it works. The teenagers we spoke to said parents and teachers can help. I think they just need to be aware of what's going on and like knowing how to support their child if their child is being affected by this. I don't think it's ever going to stop, but it's just the way the people deal with it. And this is how our 14-year-olds would feel if online bullying didn't exist. They say more should be done to prevent it. Leila Hayes, 5 News.